this is Steve with Raybuck. So we get a lot of questions about the ride height of the truck. Uh, people want to know what we did. Did we change the chassis? Did we put an air ride in it? Did we do lowering blocks? So the chassis is original. Um, we didn't do air ride. We didn't do lowering blocks. We just did leaf springs in the back. We replaced the ones that were in there, the original ones. And we used uh, chassis engineering leaf springs. A bunch of different places make them. Those are just the ones we went with. Um, it was supposed to lower the truck about four inches. It did lower it, but it still wasn't low enough for where we wanted it because we do have a two inch drop spindle in the front. So what we did is we ended up notching the original frame and uh, raising the uh, mount points for those springs. So what we're gonna do in a minute is take it into the garage and get underneath so we can show you uh, how we did that so you can have a ride like this without using lowering blocks and without anything else like that. Uh, the way it sits right now, again, is the way that it, uh, it rides. From the bottom of the rear of the running board down to the ground, we have about seven and a quarter inches. And from the front, of the running board, the bottom of it to the ground, we have a hair under six. So we got a little bit of a rake to it, um, not a whole lot, and uh, it's good clearance for driving it pretty much anywhere, and that's how it sits. So we're going to pull it in the garage and show you the underneath. So this is the front section of the leaf springs, the rear leaf springs. This section that you're looking at here, this piece, this uh, triangular piece, is the mount, the front mount that came with the leaf springs. It's supposed to mount uh, flush to the bottom of the frame rail uh, using holes that were originally there. So you would have cut the rivets out uh, or burned the rivets out of the original mount from the original leaf springs, taken all that out, um, and then used this mount in its place. Uh, the back was a similar setup. We did that first and when we set the truck down it just still sat way too high in the back. This was supposed to lower it a couple of inches and or like four inches I think, but it, it, it really didn't get it close to where we wanted it to be. So we didn't want to bag it. We didn't want to put lowering blocks on it, but we still wanted to have like somewhere between a seven and eight inch uh, ride height from the, the bottom of the uh, running board down to the ground. Uh, so what we did was we ended up notching the frame or cutting a section of the frame out. So you could see here's the original section of frame. It still has the original chassis under the truck. Um, so right here, we cut it. The outside portion of the frame, we didn't touch. So all we did was literally cut the bottom section of the, uh, like the C-channel out. We cut it here, we cut it back to here, and then we actually used part of it and bent it up. I'll see if I can get underneath of here. Sorry, this isn't the greatest view, but you can see right here where we cut it, and then we cut it right along that edge, that bottom lip, um, and then up in here, we bent it up. Um, to give us some clearance for the uh, the leaf travel and then we took the new mount and Obviously we put it on an angle here Tacked that in place and then it looked like our ride height was going to be right and uh, We said you know what let's just go with it So we just boxed essentially just boxed the inside of the frame and we boxed this in we beefed up the top a little bit and then where we turned the old section of the frame up, we obviously we welded that in too. So that's what we did on the front section. And the back section was very similar. I'll show you that in a second. And I'll show you what the outside portion of, uh, of this looks like so you can see that we didn't touch anything. Let me see if I can just roll around to the outside here. Yep, there it is. So there's the outside of the frame rail. There's the original bracket for the uh, the running board. All we do is take the bottom rivet out because the back side of it was in the way of the uh, the new mount for the leaf springs. I left the top one and uh, everything else on the frame itself stayed the same. So you can see how the leaf springs come up and they tuck up into the uh, into the frame rail. And then let me get this light out of the way so you can see. You can sort of see there, right there how we bent the uh, lower portion of, or the lower C channel uh, portion of the frame up into, uh, into that opening. And we have a couple inch gap. We've driven this thing all over the place and that doesn't even come close to touching. So that's worked out really well. Like I said, I'll show you uh, what the back looks like. But you guys have seen the outside of the truck. The thing sits just about where we wanted it. If we could have gotten it maybe an inch lower all the way around, we would have. But for a truck that uh, sits the way that it rides, um, it's, it's perfect. Like I said, we didn't do lowering blocks, we didn't do bags, we didn't do anything. This is just straight up uh, leaf springs uh, that you can get from just about anywhere. And then in the front we did the, uh, the two inch drop 
uh, spindles to get that down just a little bit. And that's how it sits. So like I said, I'm gonna go back here and uh, here, you know, I'll just scoot back right now. I'll show you what the, uh, the back section looks like. So you can see here, we just did a little notch to get the mount up to the top of the frame. Normally this would have mounted at the bottom of the frame. Now it just mounts at the top of the frame, which gave us literally about four inches um, or dropped the truck down about four inches from where it would have sat with the, uh, the springs just bolted up in place. You could actually see underneath here the holes, two of the holes from the original mount that was on there. And then again, you could see if I could show you, if I can get a better light up in here. You can see the other mount or the other holes that are right up in here. And then we did the same thing back here. We cut the bottom and uh, pushed the bottom portion of the frame up in there and just welded that in place to kind of follow the contour of the springs. And it's perfect. Like I said, it uh, has a ton of travel, not a ton of travel, but enough travel that uh, nothing hits. Everything rides real well. And yeah, it dropped the truck down about four inches. So uh, yeah, the inside of this looks the same as the, uh, the outside. We just took the, the mount that uh, came with it and then added a little bit of steel front and back just to give it some rigidity. And uh, yeah, it works real well. So yeah, if you want to lower your truck about four inches in the back and still use leaf springs but not bagging or anything, I would recommend uh, giving this a shot. Took a little bit of time to, to get it in, but yeah, once it's in, it's uh, like I said, it rides real, real nice and sits real nice.